Number seven, they say dog is man's best friend, but this dog is in a category all his own. His owner says he sniffed out her breast cancer, literally. Impossible, you say? Well, some doctors say, believe it. Here's Blaine Alexander. Mm, what a kiss. What a kiss. Carol and her dog Floyd Henry are practically inseparable. It's a strong bond, one she says defies explanation. And what he did for her almost defies reason. He nipped my nose and then pushed against my right breast. And I said, what are you doing? And he pushed again and he stood back and looked at me right in my eyes like there's a problem here. Then he raised his right front foot and pawed at my breast. I said, uh-oh. She checked, and what doctors found launched her into a battle for her life. They found breast cancer in the exact spot he touched. Now, three years later, she's living cancer-free. He saved my life. He truly saved my life. And some doctors at Emory's Winship Cancer Center say she may not be that far off. Dr. Ramalingam is leading a study that connects cancer detection with breath odor. The kind of uh, gases exhaled in our breath samples can be used to detect cancer. What the dogs show is proof that this is possible. So far, a similar study shows the connection in breast cancer patients. Now they're looking to do the same with lung cancer. The breath specimen is easy to get and uh, it does not involve any expensive procedure. So it's readily there. If we can use that to detect cancer, that would be a major advance. One that is still in the very early stages. As for Floyd Henry, doctors say sniffing out the specific location is highly unlikely, but Carol's got all the proof she needs. I'm here today, I know, because of the grace of God and that dog. In Walnut Grove, Blaine Alexander, 11 Alive News.